This is the actual controller that makes the phone system work. Because the light in the uh, pantry was, uh, doesn't work. We have to bring in an additional light source. So let me just show you this. These three phone lines that come in here are coming in from the uh, central office. And they go to a variety of phones in the building. The first board here you see is the processor board. This is the computer chip circuit board that makes it all work. And, um, and then you have your... Um, you have the 408 card first, which is this one here. And it means it can support up the four incoming line and four AT&T analog terminals. When we have three um, ba um, basic, ring, um, tele basic telephone model 0112 with built-in ring generator, this, right now we can only see we're using one of the three. The other fourth one, and these two are just extras and not being used um, on the phone system right now. Now, the nice thing uh, with this setup is this lets you use standard phones on our PABX. So here's the three phone jacks. You probably can't see them. Let's move the light here so you can see it better. As you have three phone jacks that come in from the central office. The black box right there is the um, ATT Universe um, modem device that provides the internet for the building. That's the UPS for the Universe. And of course, that's the web server. For those of you who don't know how Pink Rose's web server is run for Snow King Palace at um, HTTP colon forward slash forward slash. P I N K Rose Pink Rose dot D H I S dot org. So it's H T T P colon forward slash forward slash Pink Rose P I N K R O S E dot D H I S dot O R G. This is the computer itself that runs it. It is a this is a Pentium one hundred machine. It has and has ninety six megabytes of RAM. And a 320 gigabyte, or I'm sorry, 130 gigabyte hard drive. I think it's 130, 147 gigabyte actually. The blue um, box on the top is the thing that is the switch for all the apartments that are on the phone system. And there is actually a total of about three apartments that are hardwired. And there's actually um, three out of the ten that are not on the system right now. That, there, that Wi-Fi access point is just that's the public access one. The one that's built into the router is the um, one you need a WIP password for. So um, that works out pretty good. And of course, all this stuff is um, runs the phone system. Now, how does it work on? Um, the, um, on the on the user side, well, let me show you that. Um, as I mentioned on the video about the AT&T voice terminals, this is an example of a voice terminal right here. Yeah, this is um, it's got um, your different buttons on conference call, drop call, transfer, and hold. Um, when a call comes in, and it's somebody on the system, I just we. Well, I'm talking to them on the phone, I say, please hold, and I press transfer, and then I enter in that person's extension. So, therefore, that allows me to very easily make phone calls, and also I can conference call. I can use all three phone lines, like outgoing lines, to conference call for a total of, plus the two intercom lines. So, I can to I can conference with a total of six to eight people. Really not a bad way to go. Um, not that I would really use that feature much. At least I know it's there. Um, I just washed my hair, so I, I, um, I just, um, I promise, uh, uh, uh let's see what is that, the person's name, right? Janine Domique, she, uh, she asked me how this all works, and I said I would try to get it in. I tried to do this last night. Unfortunately, I bungled it. So, this time, I thought I would start over and try to um, get it right this time. Now, by the way, because we can use regular house phones, we don't have to use special phones. Like, my apartment's got a lot of special phones, only because 
Well, I got a pretty good deal on them, but I didn't have enough for three lungs. So, I decided to, um, as you saw, the, the three um, um, basic telephone, um, 0, 1, 12 modules of ring generators. That allows me to use everyday phones, um, like cordless phones or fax machines or anything with the system. So it simplifies things a lot for, for the apartments. As I said in the video, there's only three apartments that are on the system. I mean, sorry, there are three apartments that are not on the system. And the only reason why that was is because it was um, getting really difficult to run additional wiring throughout the building um, without making a royal mess of things. So we got people on, are on the systems, apartments three, four, one, um, obviously six, seven, nine, ten. So which means that apartment number eight, apartment number five, and apartment number one, or sorry, two are not on the system. Um, although as soon as I one and two numbers, they get mixed up. One, two, five, and eight. Not the other way around. So apartments on the system are is two, three, four, six, seven, nine, and ten. And all the apartments are set up also to have access to free internet as well, because we are we were in RT forty five and category five e cable to each apartment. We we're able to split the wiring and use part of it for the ethernet and part of it for the phone because we're using twisted pay or two conductor phone service for those apartments. Um, the extra pair of wires can also be used for a second line in that apartment if they wanted to have another phone extension of their own maybe for they want to have one for a fax machine or what like that. So that's that's kind of cool. We would, I had plans to use an automatic attendant to help work the system but unfortunately, I couldn't find the AC adapter for the ones I found on eBay cheap, and um, which resulted in a lot of broken equipment by the time I got done trying to find a way to um, try to make it work. I mean, I got it to at least sort of work, but it wouldn't actually make connections um, to the switches. I mean, it would, it would try to flash the switch hook. It didn't play my announcement. It didn't, um, so I kind of someone said, oh, screw it. I'll get a new system later on. Um, maybe when I get some money. So that's what we'll try doing next time. But for right now, as I said, this is a quick little video to show you how the phone system works. And, uh, I hope, um, Mr. Tomikwes is, uh, really, uh, interested in all this technological stuff. Because there indeed is technological as well as, um, you know, emotional things to it too. By the way, the uh, tenants in the building do get unlimited calling within the United States, including Puerto Rico. Uh, so you can call Puerto Rico on the system as well as, of course, anywhere in the United States, including Canada, um, Alaska. We don't get free calls to Canada, but um, I'm on a uh, plan that lets me have a pretty good deal on uh, calling, so we have it so now that you can call out and um, talk to people. Now with the new technology such as what um, AT&T wants to offer which is, is to use the Wi-Fi to or the cell phone network to replace wired landline connections um, I would have to be a little more um, a little uncomfortable with the concept because it might make a mess with our PABX. Right now for um, at and they're not quite railroading it through, but they want to promote people to get off the wired connections so they can rip the wires off the poles. And, uh, I don't think that's going to go very well. Um, for some people, Verizon's trying to do the same thing, but they're trying to force it down people's throat more likely, especially in areas like Fire Island, Fire Island, New York. Um, the problem with the technology that uh, what both companies have is, is that um, fax machines and obviously credit card terminals for businesses and some security alarm systems are not going to really work too well for this application because the 
the data lines or, or the voice lines in this case really do not even provide enough bandwidth to carry um, data data connections or so I've been told I haven't really tried it yet with uh, an acoustic coupled modem to see how that works but I would assume the problem is that a lot of data has to be um, clipped and trimmed and squished into a tight bandwidth fit into a GSM or CDMA channel um, so by the way T-Mobile also has their um, UMA um, unlicensed mobile access or T-Mobile hotspot service um, you can get um, a link system please let me, for, let me get, make sure I get this right please because I have I, I just remember the numbers it's a UTI 200 hotpot something like that but basically what it is is it's a it works kind of like a voltage module in which you plug into your ethernet port of your network and then you can plug your home phone into it you put your T-Mobile SIM chip in it and it's supposed to allow you to use the, um, the Wi-Fi to uh, make phone calls just like Vonage does I I actually never tried it but I certainly have set up my friends Vonage setups in the past so um, I'm kind of familiar with the Vonage setup which means obviously you need, to, you need a wired internet connection to provide for um, service so that kind of limits you um me and Libby will be doing our video later on today right now it is overcast it is raining here in Winston right now and I just wanted to really hurry up and get that video out to you Jeanne uh Jeanne because you asked me about it and as far as the other video about describing um what the North American Snow Queen does I will do that today I will get that in as well that should be relatively easy to do um but right now let me get this video up to you up to youtubers so you can guys watch it and uh, i hope you enjoyed looking at our phone system and um i also um picked up a new retro pair of headphones i wasn't going to show you these but what the hell and since obviously i'd go in there anyway to drop the video into the computer um these are um, there's actually two different sub species of these. Um, this is um, the Nova 40 headphones from Realistic. Okay, now look at the weight of these guys. They're big. They're comfortable. They work good. And, um, and I told you about cheapy cords. And how so many of these headphones on the market now have shitty wires. Well, I got this that comes with a quarter inch plug, and I have a adapter plugged in so I can plug it into Walkman's. And yes, they work great with my well, they work great with my iPhone. So here's the plug in the 6.3 millimeter plug right here. Okay, but no, it's a quarter inch plug. And then I got an adapter right here, which converts it to the standard 3.5 millimeter connector on it and this has got a coiled cord and this is, these headphones were made in 1976 these are not the kind with the volume knobs on them um, they also make a pair of Novas with volume controls these are not the ones believe it or not these things work very well when plugged directly into the headphone jack of my Mac so and they they work and they sound good so um unfortunately this demonstrates to me how much my hearing has deteriorated over the years unfortunately to my dismay uh but they work um like they're supposed to work it's just my ears just don't work the way they're supposed to work here you go all right so let's get this video up to you and don't forget to like and share i'll see all of you soon Okay, bye.